President of We the People Convention, Tom Zawatowski, is urging President Trump to demand martial law to allow for a brand new fair and free election. Take a look. Zawatowski releasing a full page ad in the Washington Times urging the message if legislators refuse to follow the Constitution. In this press release, it was published by We the People, he claims that their rights have been infringed upon by corrupt local politicians and election officials along with huh, the media. I think he means the mainstream. The uh, convention will not stand for their votes to be stolen. Joining the program now to talk more about this, uh, the guy who's getting a little heat for this, but hey, to each their own, Tom Zawistowski joining me from, are you in the Buckeye State, Tom, where I grew up? You're a Buckeye. We're in, we're in beautiful Akron, Ohio. Nice. O-H. O-H. I-O. Thank you, sir. I'm glad you got that. Yep. All right, Tom. So I, so you're Akron. Uh, my mom's from, I think, Canton. She was adopted, but we found out years later I'm from Archibald. It's over by Toledo. All right. That's All right. Awesome. We got that out of the way. We're Buckeyes. We're good to go. Let's talk about we what... Uh, heat, we can take the heat. <laughs> we can Buckeyes take some heat. Can take heat. You betcha. I think you might be taking more heat than me right now, although we take heat daily with the show. Uh, let's yeah. talk about this press release you put out. Because this is some uh, Abraham Lincoln stuff. We're going way back. You're calling yeah. on the president to say, let's have martial law. Let's have an entirely new, just federal election and find out who the president-elect truly is. Is that in a nutshell? Yeah, that's basically it. And again, you know, look at what's going on in our country. Both sides are just on the on the edge, right? You got the Antifa left and, and you know, they're talking about burning down cities. You know, even if the courts... You recognize all the fraud that you've been covering on One America News and, you know, that we believe shows the election was stolen. Even if the courts act to overthrow this, that's going to be reason for them to just say, oh, it's, it's, it's corrupt, it's rotten, you know, let's burn the place down. On our side, you know, we got 73 million people who really believe President Trump won and a lot of new people buying guns, right, that, you know, 40% of which have been first-time gun owners. We're on the brink of a civil war. We don't want that. In a civil society, the way you handle this is you give people an outlet to express themselves. It's called an election, a fair election, a vote. No one believes we've had that. So what we're asking for the president to do is not as crazy as everyone wants to make it sound. There's not tanks in the street, Dan. We're not saying we're going to have tanks in the street and, and Trump's going to have the military you know, put him in as dictator for life. We're actually asking the president to act like Lincoln and like Washington. Like Lincoln, when the nation was in, in dire straits in the Civil War, he used extraordinary powers of the presidency to save the Union, even though he suspended habeas corpus and, and, and you know, really locked people up who were opposing him to make sure that the Union didn't get dissolved. Well, President Trump is on the brink of the same thing. We think he has to declare martial law temporarily for the sole purpose of having the military oversee a revote of the federal election. And then once the vote's done, it's over, all right? There's no more martial law. And President Trump's gonna be like Washington, where he's not saying we're doing this to make sure I win. It says right in our ad that was in the Washington Times that he will live by whatever the people decide. But if you do that, Dan, then no one can say it wasn't fair. No one's gonna say I'm gonna burn down buildings because it's gonna be obvious who really won. Yeah, so you're talking some 12th Amendment stuff here, and I'm sure in 2020 versus the 17 and 1800s, that's freaking a lot of people out because they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Hold on now, Tom. Uh, yeah. The minute yeah. the president does that, you're going to feed right into the left wing and the lamestream lapdog media's narrative that he wants to be a dictator and is going to try and use the military to keep himself in office because that's all they've been spewing whether you watch late night talk shows or whatnot for the past, not even year, for the past three, four years, since the man got into office, yeah. they've been spewing this, yeah. he'll never leave, he'll never leave, he'll use the military. Well, they almost backed him into a corner to have to do this almost, when I look at That's it. That's right. Because they've set That's this exactly up. Right. I mean, let's be real. You can't look at 80, what, almost 81 million now, right? 81 million mm -hmm. votes. They're trying to make us believe that sleepy JoJo from his basement never leaving got almost 81 million votes, the most ever in American history. Right. I so find I that say hard to, to believe. So, Dan, that's why I say to them, you don't want to do this? Well, you said that it was a fair election. You said Joe Biden won easily. So we're just asking you to prove it. 
Let's just do this right now. Because see, Dan, here's the other part of this. All this other stuff in these courts and these hearings, it's going to take years to go through all the evidence to do this. It's all subjective. Well, we'll hear this. We won't hear that. You know what? This is objective. This is real simple. We're going to have an election, paper ballots. Everyone votes in person, have to be registered, photo ID. Both parties are watching everyone vote. It's a federal election. Most people are going to have two questions. Who do you want for president? Who do you want for Congress? Might have a senator. Three questions. Some might have four because they have multiple congressmen. Real simple. You mark it on the paper, we count it by hand, no computers. At the end of the day, we know who won. You can wear your mask six feet apart. You know, it's safe, just like we did in Ohio, Dan. We did it right in Ohio. We had our vote known that night. Trump won by 8%. No, no mess, messing around. That's what people will believe in. And so that's what we need. And if the Dem Democrats want to say, oh, we won, you know, nothing to see here, prove it. Prove yeah. it. Because we don't believe you. This yeah. way, we'll know for sure. You know what's another telling thing that <clears throat> there was fraud on these mail-in ballots, and that's they used COVID, they used fear to send out millions of these, and then fake, I think, hundreds of thousands of them, if not millions. Um, is Did you notice like a day or two right before the election, the CDC, nobody talked about it, but they put on the website that even if you had COVID and you were under quarantine and that you wanted to go out and vote that day, this was election day, they put it out the day before, I believe, that you could it said, go ahead, it's safe, there's safety measures in, in place, wear your mask, make sure you tell mm -hmm. the poll workers you have COVID when you come in, they'll make arrangements, right. but if you want to vote, it's your God-given right, you still can in person. The CDC put it out there, it's on their website. But right. Americans but, were feared but, into using mail-in ballots right. for but how many Democrats months? Mail-in, in. exactly right. So if you go to wethepeopleconvention.org, our okay. website, you can actually see this ad. You can download your own PDF of the ad and read it. I ask you to read it because it really is the best solution. You'll also see on that, uh, on our website, there's a, a little piece that Tucker Carlson said that they're not coming for Trump, they're coming for you. If you click on that, there's a little video from Van Jones, the little Marxist guy that mm -hmm. was in uh, the Obama administration. Yep. He posted this on October 26th, Dan. Watch that video it's almost like he knew what was going to happen. What a surprise. Listen to what he says about a close election and Trump might have to call out the troops and this is what we have to do. It's all rigged. We know it. But you know what? I don't want to prove it in courts. I don't want all these people, you know, judges, lawyers, uh, you know, congressmen, governors, secretaries of state, Supreme Court, you know, corrupt local politicians, corrupt election officials, the media and the left is threatening violence. They don't get to decide who our president is. We're in a representative republic. If we can't vote for our representatives, we don't have a republic. That's what's at stake here. That's, right. that's why it's a constitutional crisis. And that's why it's not Donald Trump's decision to do this. It's his responsibility. He swore an oath to protect and defend the Constitution. We put that in our ad. The military swells, swears an oath to protect and defend the Constitution. Yes, we do. What better way to From protect it? From enemies foreign and domestic. And what better way to protect it than to have a fair vote? Yep. It's that easy. With We're ideas. We're not talking crazy. With We're ideas. We're talking insane. Yep, there it's you go. It's not racist to ask for an ID. I'm tired no, of that. It's not. You got to show it's an ID to go into a bar. You got to show an ID right. to use right. your credit card. You have to show an ID yeah. everywhere. Why don't you so show one to vote in this country? That's why martial law is important <sighs> because in martial law, everything is suspended. The Constitution is suspended. Because what would happen if Trump just said, let's have a revote? There'd be 700 lawsuits filed yeah, by right. the left, and it would take 50 years in court. Yeah. If you declare martial law, the military gets to decide. This is the way we're doing it. It's fair for everyone. We're not putting on the election. The states will do it, but we will oversee it to make sure it's fair, and we'll know who our president is. Gotcha. We need that certainty in a civil society, Dan. We need to be a representative republic. We need to elect our president, not courts and judges and lawyers. Look, I can't disagree with you. It's going to be a big, big climb and a hard battle to get that done. I don't know if this day and age, with the way this country is and half of it, if they can handle it and will stand for it. Obviously, we were a different country 200 years ago uh, mm -hmm. and a bit tougher, right? Yeah. Well, Tom yeah. Zawentowski, thank you so much. President of We the People Convention, we appreciate you coming on Real America. State in your case. Let's see what happens as this uh, right. nightmare continues to unfold in our country.
Appreciate it. We got to do it. We the people have to save our country. Nobody else.